as you get to scale in generative AI applications, the cost of compute really matters. And people are very hungry for better price performance. So I'm excited to share and announce the launch of Amazon Nova, which are our new state-of-the-art foundation models that deliver frontier intelligence and industry-leading price performance. So Amazon just dropped something absolutely wild in Las Vegas, and almost nobody's talking about what it really means. While everyone's been obsessed with ChatGPT and arguing about AI, Amazon quietly built something that might change the entire game. They're calling it Nova, and it's not just another AI model, it's an entire family of AI tools that's about to flip the industry on its head. But here's the really interesting part. While other companies are charging insane amounts for their AI models, Amazon looked at the whole situation and basically said, this is ridiculous. They built Nova to be up to 75% cheaper than anything else out there. That's not a typo. They're literally offering the same capabilities as the industry leaders at a quarter of the price. The whole thing is actually six different models working together. You've got four text models, Micro, Light, Pro and Premiere, plus two creative ones called Canvas and Real. But what makes this really fascinating isn't just what they can do, it's how Amazon's approaching the whole thing. All Nova models are incredibly fast. They are cost effective and have been designed with ease to use with all of your data and your systems. They support a wide range of tasks across 200 languages and multiple modalities. They are amongst the fastest models in their respective intelligence tier. Think about it like this. Right now, if you want to use serious AI, you need deep pockets, like really deep. But Amazon's basically saying, nah, that's not how this should work. They've built something that can handle everything from simple text generation to creating entire videos, and they're making it available to pretty much anyone through their platform called Bedrock. The capabilities are kind of mind-blowing. The smallest model, Micro, can process about 100,000 words at once. That's like reading an entire novel in one go. But the bigger ones? They can handle 225,000 words, 15,000 lines of code, or 30 minutes of video footage. And by early next year, they're pushing that to over 2 million words. That's like processing an entire library in one shot. The creative stuff they're doing with this is where it gets really wild. They've got these two models, Canvas and Real, that are basically like having an entire production studio in your pocket. Canvas can generate and edit images faster than most professional designers can open Photoshop. And Real? It's cranking out six second videos in about three minutes, complete with camera moves that would take a video editor hours to perfect. But here's what everyone's missing. This isn't just about making cool content. Amazon's playing a much bigger game here. They're building what's essentially an AI Swiss army knife that can handle pretty much anything you throw at it. Want to analyze customer feedback across 10,000 comments? Done. Need to generate product descriptions for your entire catalog? Easy. Want to turn your boring quarterly report into an engaging video presentation? They've got you covered. The really clever part is how they've designed it to work with existing systems. It's like they looked at every headache businesses have with current AI solutions and said, let's fix all of that. You don't need a team of engineers to make it work. It just plugs into whatever you're already using. And they're not messing around with safety either. Every image and video gets a watermark, which might sound boring, but it's actually huge. In a world where everyone's freaking out about AI-generated fake content, Amazon's basically building guardrails into the system from day one. They're even offering protection if their AI accidentally copies something it shouldn't have. Try getting that kind of guarantee from other AI companies. What's coming next year is even more interesting. They're working on this speech-to-speech -speech model that doesn't just convert words, it picks up on tone, emotion, all the subtle stuff that makes human communication actually work. Imagine customer service that actually sounds human, or translation that captures not just what people say, but how they say it. The any-to-any -any model they're developing is like something out of science fiction. Want to turn a text document into a video? Done. Need to convert a podcast into a blog post with matching images? No problem. 
It's like they're building a universal translator for any kind of content you can imagine. But here's what really gets me excited. The democratization of all this. Remember when cloud computing was this expensive thing only big companies could afford? Amazon changed that with AWS and now they're doing the same thing with AI. A small business owner can now access the same AI power as a major corporation, paying only for what they actually use. The demos they showed in Vegas were pretty mind-blowing. There was this one where they created this entire pasta-themed cityscape, buildings made of cannelloni, streets flowing with marinara sauce. But what's more impressive is how they're using it for practical stuff, like analyzing sports footage or processing medical documents. And check this out. They're not just throwing this tech out there and saying, good luck. They've built this whole playground called Bedrock, where you can experiment with these models without risking your shirt. It's like having a sandbox where you can test drive a Ferrari. All the power, none of the risk. What's wild is how they're handling the scaling. Most AI models are like trying to parallel park a cruise ship. They're powerful, but super clunky to work with. Nova's different. Need to process more data? Just dial it up. Need to save some cash? Dial it back. It's like having a dimmer switch for your AI. The real magic happens when you start combining these models. Imagine running a small e-commerce business. In the morning, you use Micro to handle customer service emails. By lunch, Canvas is generating product photos for your new line. In the afternoon, Reels creating short ads for social media. And all this while Pro is analyzing your sales data and suggesting inventory changes. It's like having an entire digital workforce at your fingertips. And here's something nobody's really talking about. The impact this could have on creativity. We're not just talking about making existing jobs easier. We're talking about entirely new forms of content and communication that weren't possible before. Imagine being able to turn your thoughts into a fully produced video in minutes or creating interactive visual stories that adapt based on viewer feedback. They're already working on features for early 2025 that sound like science fiction. Imagine AI that can not just understand what you're saying, but how you're feeling when you say it. Models that can take any type of input, text, voice, video, whatever, and transform it into exactly what you need. It's like they're building a universal translator for human creativity. But here's where it gets really interesting. Amazon's not just thinking about today's problems. They're looking at where AI is going to be in three, five, even 10 years. Remember how AWS completely changed how we think about servers and hosting? Nova's poised to do the same thing for AI. The way they've designed these models is pretty genius when you think about it. Most AI companies are like, here's our one super powerful model. Good luck figuring out how to use it. Amazon's basically built an AI toolkit where each piece is designed to work perfectly with the others. It's like having a band where every musician knows exactly when to play and when to let others take the spotlight. The video generation stuff is insane too. Nova Real isn't just stitching together clips, it's understanding context, narrative and visual flow. And remember, this is just version 1. But here's what really gets me excited, the potential for smaller players. Up until now, if you wanted to compete with the big guys in AI, you needed massive computing resources and deep pockets. Nova changes that completely. A two-person startup can now access the same AI capabilities as a Fortune 500 company. It's like giving everyone the keys to a Ferrari, but only charging them for the miles they actually drive. And like I mentioned before, the safety features they have built in are pretty clever too. Every piece of content gets this invisible watermark, kind of like a digital fingerprint. In a world where deepfakes and AI-generated misinformation are becoming serious problems, this is huge. They're basically building trust into the system from the ground up. Looking ahead, Amazon's roadmap for Nova is ambitious as hell. They're talking about models that can understand and generate content in any format. Text, audio, video, you name it. Imagine being able to take a podcast, turn it into a blog post, create matching social media content, and generate video highlights all with a single prompt. That's not science fiction anymore. That's where we're headed.